pitching side. Carlson Reed had another good week. There's a lot of good stuff in uh, in Greensboro this past this past week. Um, Carlson Reed double digit strikeouts for the first time in, in his career. The Grasshoppers actually had two different guys strike out uh, at least ten hitters in a start. Um, Carlson Reed struck out ten, and then I don't know if it was the next day or like the day after. Wilbur, Wilbur Dotel struck out ten as well. His stat line didn't look as as pretty as like Carlson Reed's did. He, he gave up like five runs, four earned, or something like that. But um, they both double digit strikeouts, um, looking really good. Reed, Reed has like a 048 ERA since being promoted to to Greensboro. Like he he had been pitching good in Bradenton, but like getting to Greensboro, he's just kind of like kicked it in in the high gear. Um, fastball's looking a lot better. Uh, don't get reliable velocity re- like radar readings down in down in Greensboro so not sure what he was hitting but it looked like he was throwing it a little bit harder right before he got promoted so that that's good to see um so just solid week for him like I said with Patrick Riley getting traded uh Carlson Reed was like the strikeout leader but I think like Bubba Chandler overtook that now so Really solid week for Greensboro, and you don't really think of them as like the pitching thing, just because you know hitters ballpark kind of stuff. So, yeah, yeah I mean, this is the second. Really go ahead, go ahead, Denar. No, no, I was gonna say like he, he really has like, eighteen point two innings, four starts, twenty three strikeouts, seven walks, just ten hits as well. Mm-hmm. It, you know, we brought him up a few weeks ago. I feel like, and and like since that time, he's like kicked it up another notch. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's developed nicely, um, and, and and he's he's another reason why like I I didn't have any problem trading Patrick Riley. Like I was I, I liked Riley a lot, but mm-hmm. you know pitchers like 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 Reed are are the reason why I was like you know what we'll just we'll find another one. <laughs> it's like a, we'll we'll just figure it out. Um, but yeah, he's been he's been outstanding since being promoted uh, four weeks ago. He's made four starts in Greensboro, and and yeah, like you said, point four eight ERA, um, limiting base runners a ton, striking people out. He's given up just one run in his four starts. Yeah, yeah, he's been. I think I think even if you go back to like his last Bradenton start too, he I, it was he may have gave up like two unearned runs or something like that. So like if you reach back even further, like the ERA still finds a way to drop even more. So yep. he, he's just been lights out lately. Yeah. Since yeah. July, he's, he's still yeah. kind of toes the line as like a reliever maybe, but like you can, like, you, you know, you, you talk about like being okay with trading someone like Riley. I still feel like Riley is probably in that same category as well. Mm-hmm. Where they're, they're both probably still maybe relievers, but maybe Reed's finally turned the corner to maybe head in the right direction of putting that past him. Yeah, so. yeah. One earned run in his last twenty-seven and two-thirds innings. It's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> There's your NS nine <laughs> bucks on deck analysis. Carlson <laughs> Reed's having a pretty good stretch. Pretty good. Pretty yeah, good. That's, the, that's the name of this segment. Carlson Reed, pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> 